I've had men cry. I've yeah, I had some throw up, throw up in my sink. The customers actually think that I'm mass murdering people in here because I'm shouting and screaming all the time. I first started showing an interest when I was about 17 years old. Um, I've always been into art and tattoos. The process has always fascinated me. So I decided to, once I'd finished my um, my art course with graphics design, so I decided to start looking into getting an apprenticeship. Um, which I did eventually manage to get one uh, in Wakefield. Uh, I actually started ta having tattoos after I started tattooing. I started without tattoos whatsoever. Wow. So there's there's a few strange ones. There's a few that I really liked just for the style. Um, I like to do watercolour tattoos. Hell of a lot of watercolour tattoos uh, recently. But my favourite has been a, a poppy uh, on a girl's ankle. It just it's just completely different to what, what the normal thing is to do. Um, another one of my favourites was um, a shark in a tuxedo wearing a top hat and a monocle. Definitely one of my favourites this year anyway. <laughs> Sarah is brilliant with me. I've been getting tattoos with her for a year now. Um, she's absolutely amazing. I wouldn't go to anyone else for a tattoo because we're just, we're friends as well, and we get on really well, and I think that really helps when you get in a tattoo. Uh, I got my first tattoo when I was 16 years old. It was a birthday present from my mum and dad. I, f I feel like my first tattoo didn't have much inspiration. Uh, I just really, really love dream catchers, and I've always, always been into like the Native American sort of lifestyle, so. I got my first tattoo when I was 18, like literally a month after, after my 18th birthday. I got it done in London in a place called uh, Hammersmith Tattoos. It's just it was on my on my back and it cost me 110 quid. Mm -hmm. uh, this this tattoo, the most tattoo I got on my leg, um, that's actually just like that's the name that M C F Y is the name of my um like all my friends at home. I like to be able to relate to my tattoos. I know that not everyone does that, and some people will get them just for just because they like them. Um, a lot of mine, um, I have a lot of aquatic themed ones because I'm absolutely fascinated with water. When I was younger I wanted to be a marine biologist so it's kind of my fascination with that sort of thing and then obviously I've got my gaming stuff as well so every tattoo that I've got means a little bit to me but it's not got a full-blown deep meaning behind it. So I'd say if I like the design I'll probably get it and I've got no tattoos that really mean anything so. Uh, it's a little like a cat with like a witch's hat on it. Uh, it was actually when I first came to Sheffield. It was, I think it was on Halloween because it was like a flash sheet, so. What, the ones on my arm mean different things, like the, this heart, that's got my uh, mum's year of birth in uh, Roman numerals, just along one of the arteries. The industry itself is very discriminating because I'm a female artist. It's very much a predominantly male run industry. So I've had a lot of hell from guy tattoo artists who have literally tried dragging me down just because I'm a woman, because I shouldn't be in the industry, according to them. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very sexist, very sexist, and it's very, very difficult for female artists to actually get anywhere in the industry. Very difficult, without being hounded by absolutely every other artist that's, that's there. It's, it's awful. I've had some god-awful insults just because I've trained as a, as a female artist. My tattoo artist is a female. A male. Oh, it's male. Um, he's male. I've never been tattooed by a woman. I'd like to be tattooed by a woman though. I, I prefer tattooing other people definitely. <laughs> um, it's, it's more relaxing. I find it really, really therapeutic what I do. I can completely lose myself in, in my artwork. Um, although I do enjoy having tattoos done, I won't have anyone else tattoo me unless I really, really need them to. I, again, if I'm tattooing myself, I can completely lose myself in, in all the artwork. I actually really like the pain. I think it's quite relaxing and uh, yeah, I sort of use it as, as therapy almost. In some places it can feel more like cat scratches, but other places it's like full blown blow torches and like saws and it depends on think where I've got like different tattoos of her differently, so but it does hurt, yeah. You can feel it going into you and it's kinda strange 
and it's quite painful, but it's also quite relaxing at times.